Oh shit. Here we go again. <laughs> My name is Lori Berkland. I am Grace Berkland's mother. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about Beverly Hurley. And Beverly is my mom. Mm -hmm. And my mom has Alzheimer's. Beverly Hurley was born in 1941. She just had her 82nd birthday. She is married to my dad, Gary. My mom is a very, very kind person. And that's why this it's so much more difficult for everybody. My mom loves to do puzzles, and that's one of the things that we try to keep her doing now to keep her mind active. Uh, and of course, her, her family is her priority and always has been. Yeah. Um, after my dad, my dad is the love of her life. My mom was first diagnosed in 2019 was when my dad started to first notice memory problems. And around 2020, late 2020, they diagnosed her with actual Alzheimer's. So basically since then, her condition is has gotten worse quickly. She thinks she's 55, at least that day she did. She thought we were in the 1970s. She didn't know what month it was. So it's it's gotten to almost the top level of Alzheimer's. But the future for my mom is not good. Obviously, she's progressed quite quickly here in the last six months. Let's see, the last question was, do I miss, miss my mom? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. We can't talk about things we used to talk about, our kids, grandkids. You know, she remembers her mom and dad, and her, you know, siblings, and her sister, and, but she has a hard time with our kids and her grandkids. Oh, it's hard. So yeah, I miss her. Hey, Rumi. Hey. So I'm making us pasta for dinner tonight, but I realized that we're totally out of garlic powder. So I was wondering if you're still out, you could pick some up. No problem.
Okay, really, really sorry about this, but are you still out? Yeah. I also need basil as well. Okay, fine. Truly very, very sorry, but we also are all out of chicken. I could have sworn that I picked some up earlier this week. My bad. What? Nothing. Oh shit, I also forgot olive oil for the chicken. Please hurry because the pasta is almost done. Fuck, do we really not have peppers? Really? And the pepper is gone too? And what happened to the salt? Sorry, I'm hungry. Hurry up, I just realized that we don't have any bowls. Mm -hmm. And the water has all boiled up. Are you even listening to me right now? Because I just found out that the pasta doesn't even exist. And this entire time, two philosophers were, were sitting on the couch telling me what the entire concept of pasta is. Technically, all dishes can be separated into three categories, soup, salad, or sandwich. That is true. But if so, then what is pasta fall under this umbrella? Rumi, I'm telling you, you gotta hurry because we are running out of time. What brand? What, what brand? It's, it's fucking time! Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I've got time.
Hmm. We need to go over the ground rules for our relationship. Okay, so first, no kissing. Jarfeld is the only man I have ever kissed. I mean, we were together for so long. Yeah, since like ninth grade. Exactly, so I can't kiss someone else. Second, if anyone asks, you're a Gemini. A what now? A Gemini, it's the zodiac sign most compatible with me. Um, okay, is there anything else? No, one more thing. Try not to fall in love with me. <laughs> not a problem. Good. Oh my god, he's coming. How do I look? Do I look okay? You are always great, look great. Okay, let's laugh. <laughs> Bonjour, madame and monsieur. What can I get for vous on this night? May I recommend the pamplemousse extraordinaire? Gerfeld, I didn't know you worked here. Veronica? Funny say you're here by yourself. Well, I am here with my new serious boyfriend, Chad. Chet. Chet. This must be deeply uncomfortable for you, the Jarfel. This is just part of the job. What would you like to drink? Two glasses of wine, please. But of course, right away. Did you see how he looked at me when he said, what would you like to drink? Chet, he still wants me. I can see it in his beautiful eyes. Why do we baby him so badly anyways? I mean, he's a good looking guy. He's got those dreamy eyes and those sexy whiskers. Oh, and the stripes. Yes, beautiful all around, a gorgeous man, but when you see him standing next to you, he pales in comparison. Veronica, I, I, I love you. I know I'm not supposed to. I know I'm breaking every rule, but I just had to tell you. You know, in 15 years, Sherfeld never said that to me. Then come, be with someone who will tell you that every hour. I can't. And it's not you, it's me. I just can't move on that easily, not when I know what I'd be leaving behind. What can he give you that I can't? I almost dreamed of having children with Sharfeld. We could have kids! Wait, you can do that? Yeah! Oh, well, in that case, we could be together. Then I must ask you this, Veronica. Will you marry me? Yes, of course! Mais non, Veronica, I didn't realize until just now, but je t'aime si with this man. It has disturbed me so. Sharfeld. Chet, I... No, I understand. Don't be with the man you love. What if I love both? I won't. Sorry again that mom and dad couldn't be here, but, you know, they're just busy. Working. It's okay. I can always call them. How are your roommates? Uh, they're, uh... I'm Carmen. I don't think you're the vibe. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm majoring in zoology. I hope it's okay that I brought my bow constrictor from home. Benny is really nice. <laughs> Great. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have Lots of fun this year. <laughs> Promise me you'll try to make friends here? I was just busy in high school. Of course I'm gonna make friends. Don't let your schoolwork get in the way of you having some fun here. Don't worry. I have this. I'll see you around fall break.
proud of you. Hi, I'm Nathan. Uh, hi, I'm... I, I'm Maya. Uh, I live just right across the hall. Do you want someone shy? for the offer, but uh, I think my roommates are waiting for me, so uh, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> is, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's just having a bad trip. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Nathan. Where are you going? My ex just asked me to pick him up from the ER. Ooh, I'm gonna be here for this. Girl, this is definitely a booty call. Seems like an elaborate booty call. This is not a booty call. We haven't dated in over a year. He has no chance. That's what they all say. <laughs> Thanks for picking me up. Oh, uh, these are my roommates, Carmen and Jesse. Maya, pull over. I'm gonna throw up. Where? There's nowhere to pull over here. Maya? Yes, you're right. This wasn't a booty call. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry you guys had to experience that. It's okay. This is just a interesting first roommate adventure. Seems like we'll have plenty of those. We know we freaked you out earlier. Yeah, sorry. I hadn't seen anyone. It's all good. We won't make you do anything you don't want to do. Thank you for coming with me. Speaking of things we don't want to do... I'm not coming next time. <laughs> I lost my dorm key. Can I stay with you tonight? It 
it's just for a night. might be wondering why you're here. Who are you? I've got a story I gotta get out to the world. And for that, I need a reporter. That's you. Look, if you've got something newsworthy, you've got to call the Daily Bugle in business hours. I heavily consider that. But I can't wait till tomorrow to contact someone about this. It's time sensitive. You see... Hey, your Uber Eats just got here. Sorry about that. My roommate never knocks. Anyways, when I learned that the queen died the other day, it didn't sit right with me. She was 96, man. People don't live forever. But she does. I'm intrigued. The media just said that the queen is dead. But this proof will show you that she's still alive. So, we all know that Jungkook is the reincarnation of Princess Diana. But how did the royal family accomplish that? You want to know the truth? Those crooked teeth scientists are working with the Illuminati, and they created anti-aging serums. Now, you haven't heard this because the BBC has been blocking this information from you for decades. I'm telling you, it's all a lie. It's all fake. All fake, I tell you. The Queen is jealous of Harry and Meghan, and Lizzie wanted out of the spotlight. That's why she hired a look-alike actress to stand in for her in public. You may be asking, where is she now, then? Area 51. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. If I wait any longer to get this out to the public, it's going to be too late. Those sheep will believe anything the media tells them. Yes, I see what you're saying. We need to get this out quickly. How long do we have? If we want to make tomorrow's newspaper, we have to get it done by midnight. Okay, so we've got... Five minutes. It's doable, as long as you've got a strategy to show all this to my editor. That won't be a problem. I've got it all right here. You know, it's crazy that something I did will impact so many people. I'm influential. This is probably how the Queen feels every day. Police, open up. Oh, bloody hell. What do we do? We've got to get this uploaded now. the headline. ice cap floods of 2054, our nation has struggled to stay afloat. Now in the year of 2576, we no longer have to.
The Aquatic Submersible System, also known as the ASS, will be having its grand opening next week. As a species, we will be able to traverse the underwater lands of the Homo aquaticus, who are, as you know, fellow humans who have adapted to live peacefully underwater. Tune in next Wednesday for a special segment on the ASS featuring our lovely travel guide, TJ Journeys. Welcome to the Aquatic Submersible System. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful ocean sights. We will be arriving at the Whale Feeding Ground Station shortly. Thank you for riding the ASS. Say, I'm Quasi. You're TJ, I presume. So you're my Homo Aquaticus guide. Yep. I'll be giving you the rundown of this place. So how's your journey been so far? Pretty cool. That's it. You're a reporter. Aren't you supposed to be descriptive? Okay, fair. Let's try that again. How has the adventure been so far? It's been insane. I can't believe you guys get to live down here. I mean, the whales and the coral and all the fish and so many colors and the light from above. Hot damn, this place is amazing. But that's more like it. The people above are so excited to see all the stuff you have down here. Well, I can't blame them. Oh, look out the window. We're coming up on the old soggy seaweed. <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. You Adverns are a wild crew. Hey, speaking of crews, legend has it that the crew of the soggy seaweed mutiny with their captain and tied his body to the ship's mast, cursing him to be torn apart by hungry sharks. If you listen closely, you can still hear his ghostly gaggles. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm sure it was just another whale. Right. Is that what I think it is? That's a hammerhead shark. But, um... Don't worry. We're completely safe inside the ASS. Are you sure? Absolutely. <sighs> that was a close one. What? Come on, TJ, sit down, please. You're completely safe inside the ASS. Are you sure? You seemed pretty freaked out back there. There was a shark! Who would it be? <clears throat> um. This metro was specifically designed to withstand high pressure and underwater creatures that come across it. Really, there's no need to be nervous. If you say so. At least I'm getting paid for this. I think you're
you're really gonna like this next stop. To give you every, there's a nice insight to what life is like down under. We will be arriving at Kelpview Station shortly. Please stay in your seats and enjoy the ride. We're known for farming kelp down here. It's full of antioxidants, which help fight off disease and boost immune systems. We don't get a lot of sunlight down here, so the extra vitamins are helpful. No kidding. It's crazy how you even survived this far down. Oh, the country suburbs are so refreshing. You guys live like this? Surprised, are you? More like weirded out. things are done around here. Sure. We'll be arriving in the Metro Aquatica soon. You're gonna love it. Like the Big Apple, as you guys would say. Is it really that massive? I've heard it's as big as Texas. Well, before it got flooded by the Gulf. What's Texas? We will be arriving at the final stop, Metro Aquatica Station. Thank you for riding the ASS. Have a good day and don't drown. What? Just the two of us. So 
To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James! Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now or prepare to fight! Me! Oh, that's right! we come to the end of this phase of our life, we find ourselves trying to remember the good times and trying to forget the bad times. And we find ourselves thinking about the future. We start to worry, thinking, what am I going to do? Where am I going to be in 10 years? But I say to you, hey, Look at me. Please, don't worry so much. Because in the end, none of us have very long on this earth. Life is fleeting. And if you're ever distressed, cast your eyes to the summer sky. When the stars are strung across the velvety night. And when a shooting star streaks through the blackness, turning night into day. Make a wish. Think of me. Make your life spectacular.
Gertrude, time to go to the store. Gertrude, are you okay, honey? Hey, honey, everything's gonna be okay. Gertrude? Gertrude.
In the event of a collision, the pack will release the cyclotron's vacuum to halt the production of protons. To reset the pack, uh, first ensure the clippered pneumatic valve is fastened onto the synchronous generator with an airtight seal. Thank you. 